All right, good afternoon, guys. As you can see, the curbs look absolutely brilliant all the way down to property line, all the way through. You can see where they start to shade out. Driveway came out fantastic. This was done with a 4% solution. There's a few leaves that have blown onto here, but all in all, it looks fantastic. Um, we are gonna come back and do a rust iron and sulfur treatment, uh, but the walkway looks phenomenal all the way to the front foyer. Um, and uh, we did the front foyer with the uh, X-Jet and a high pressure ball valve because of all the knickknacks on there. So um, this was done with a surface cleaner and a 4% solution. I lay the solution on and uh, let that dwell for a long period of time, uh, over a half hour. And you can just see how absolutely gorgeous uh, the front foyer came out. So um, really pleased with that. And I'm going to show you across the street a couple of other things too. I know I made an earlier video um, where we soft washed a roof, soft washed a roof, and um, then we sanded a driveway and a patio. And I wanted to knock down some of that sand. So I'll show you what that looks like and then rinse off some of the flashing. Um, so we're going to kind of go around back here and um, hopefully get a nice little view so you guys can see uh, sort of what uh, things look like. I need to take a couple of after pictures as well. But you can just see with the, you know, the driveway just looks outstanding underneath the uh, downspout. There is all cleaned out and uh, things look really, really exceptionally good. Um, so we're going to take a quick walk back here. I hope I don't disturb uh, the neighbor because I have already said goodbye, but I do need to uh, take my after photos because those are so important. And um, we've left a few things out, but uh, the landscaping guy's coming. Uh, unfortunately, we did put um, a bunch of things on the, uh, uh, on the back patio here, but I'll show you guys really quickly um, how that turned out. Those stones are good. We did all these planter trims in through here. You can just see how beautiful, uh, you know, everything looks. I'm going to take a quick photograph of that so I have something for my uh for my books um and uh and then of course we did you know everything inside of here and I'm going to let you see what that looks like we did the planners all the trims and that type of thing uh-oh it's all locked so I don't blame her um let's see if I can get a nice picture let's see what I can get all right that'll work just to kind of show uh, the work, but you guys can see what that looks like. Unfortunately, uh, the screen is locked and that's just wet spots. So that's, there's no more of those paver snakes that I was talking about before. And I think this is already locked. So, so um, uh, no, no big deal, but uh, we, we dusted off these uh, planter trims here and just made things look exceptional. Unfortunately, I can't get my after pictures. I shouldn't have said goodbye so early. I had a bunch of things that I needed to do uh, at the house next door. So, um, She's already locked everything up and I'm sort of infringing on her privacy right now. So I uh, don't want to be, um, you know, you know, a nuisance in any way. So I will sacrifice my after pictures, even though that patio looks outstanding. I mean, it just came out beautiful. Done with a surface cleaner, X-Jet. Obviously, take your X-Jet before you lay your solution and dig up those snakes. Then lay your solution, then surface clean. Um, and leave that stuff on there for a long time and you'll get results like this. You know, you'll get a paver driveway that looks phenomenal. So um, that's about uh, the story. Um, now we did this roof uh, the other day. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we dusted off all the flashing uh, because you get runoff. Um, and then we did a knockdown um, on all of the, um, we had a lot of high spots. Uh, on the sand and there's another patio in the back but um, once again you know I wouldn't want someone just walking around my property so you get the basic gist x-jet for the win all day long um, and uh, a good surface cleaner I recommend the whisper wash and uh, at least a four gallon a minute machine and you guys will be in business take care everyone have a great day bye-bye